Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. And today we're going to go inside my corporate headquarters, my AKA workshop or barn, and we're going to build a simple raised bed. But today I want to show you how to make the edges combining together 10 times stronger than you've ever seen before. Just a simple little hack. Today we're going to construct a simple raised bed that's going to be 8 feet long and 4 feet wide. So we're going to use 2 by 8 by 8. That's what they call the actual wood dimensions when you buy it, but in reality, it's not uh, eight inches tall. It's about seven and a quarter, somewhere around there. And uh, it's not two inches thick. It's about an inch and a half. And you're gonna need a total of three boards. The two in the background are full length, and then the other two I cut down into uh, two four foot lengths. Here we have a dry fit. We didn't screw anything together. We just made sure all the measurements are going to work which means that the two boards on the side here, we want them to be equal length. Now you should measure them. Anything you get from your supply store of your wood, you should double check. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. So when you assemble it, it's not gonna be square or it might be a little bit off. So always check the length of the boards, that they're equal on both sides, and these two boards, the end boards, are also equal length. Before we place our screws in the board, we want to check which way the board cups here. Now, you can see this is the wrong direction. See how the rings are going this way towards the outside? So when this board starts shrinking a little bit or gets moisture, it's going to pull these two ends outwards, or it's going to cup. So the correct way to place the board the first time is have it to cup inwards like so. And now you see it's facing the other way. So basically when it cups, we're gonna have two screws in here holding in place and it will pull that board directly into the other board and it won't cup as much and you won't have a gap and it won't cause stress or break your board. And you should do the same thing with the inner board or the four foot board also too. So like I promised early in the video, how are we going to make this edge, or combining these two pieces of board together, 10 times stronger than just putting a wood screw in there like so? The downfall of using a deck screw or wood screw is that the surface area here is the problem. Those boards are going to pull out a little bit, and the only thing that's holding it in place is technically this surface area right here. And then it's going to crack or even bow even more. So what we're going to do, simply, engineering, we're going to increase the surface area of this part of the fastener, or the deck screw. And we're going to do that by using something like this. This is called a fender washer. It's a quarter inch hole, and the whole washer across is uh, one and a quarter inches. We're only going to need two of them, but we simply just take the screw, put it inside the fender washer, and then we're going to apply here like so, screw it in, and then it's all that's it gonna take. Because now we've increased this area 10 times more, holding it again in place, and it's gonna last the lifetime of the bed. And the screw I'm gonna be using is a three inch long deck screw, though, which is self-tapping. We're gonna start two inches from the top, like so, in the center of the other board. We're going to line this up nicely. And there we go. And that's all it takes. Now that's going to hold that board together, like almost like cementing it together. Now we're going to do it two inches from the bottom, like so. Beautiful. Now you see we only use two screws and that's gonna hold that edge so nicely, again for the lifetime of the raised wood bed. Now also too, these are galvanized washers. They also sell them in stainless steel. And also, if you don't like them and you think it stands out too much, you can always paint them green or yellow and give a little bit more of a decoration to your garden. And also applying these wood deck screws, you don't have to pre-drill them. They're already set to be very skinny so they won't uh, open up or crack the wood. And also, you don't have to 
do a little bit of a recess later on for the wood screw because that fender washer is holding it outwards and not going into the wood. And also when you're done screwing everything together, you want to take a tape measure and measure from that top edge to that top edge over here and get a number and that number should equal from that top edge to that top edge over here and then you know you have your bed perfectly square. I want to thank you so very much for watching today's video. If you have any concerns or comments please leave them in below in the selection and please like the video if you get a chance it helps out my channel a lot and I thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I will return to do more on the raised bed by doubling the height so you, people that have a bad back problem or cannot bend over as much as they used to uh, can use the bed for almost being let's say 14 inches tall and I have a little bit of a shortcut to make that more possible for those people and also how to fill that raised bed in the future with the right proper material. Thank you so very much again for watching and I'll see you again shortly. Thanks.